Welcome back, Volt Hunters. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in the wonderful world of Borderlands 2. And I said I was going to leave us off right here, and I did. Well, I had to come back. Because you know, if you turn off the game, you have to go back to the beginning. But here we are, we're back here again. Where we left off in the left. That creepy enough to be Herbert's shack up there on that ledge. Take the elevator up, knock on the door, and prepare for a smell straight out of your nightmares. Episode. That's what I was trying to say. Alright. We're about to, about to meet old Herbert. Amazing. Granular Synergy. What a weird name. Oh, and I did change out the B shield. I got a uh, Nova Shield Shock. Everything was green except for the recharge rate, of course, because that's 1,200, and the other one's only 500. So, if I want to put on the shield, I can just, uh, the B shield, I'll put it back on. But the uh, capacity of that thing is really low. That's the downfall of the B. I think there's another bottle here. Yeah, I think that's that exclamation point over there on the mini map. That's the other bottle for another cursed item. <clears throat> Might stick with this because we've got to have a bunch of spider ants. Monster Mash, that's from the uh, vanilla game. Those spider ant parts are looking awful good. They're gonna look creepy as hell though once I start using them. Okay, well, I guess we can do that mission while, while we're doing this. Alright, what was I going to do? I need to switch the mission to, let's see, the Hermit. Yep, there's his, his funky little house out in the middle of nowhere. I wouldn't want to live out there on that rock. It looks very precarious. Just a bit scary. <laughs> What's so challenging? Wow, that one dropped, what, four butts? <laughs> that spider ant dropped a bunch of butts. Aw. Well, he had a bunch of butts. Never seen a spider ant spider with so many butts. There's one, two, three, four, five. Crazy. Alright, we're about to meet Herbert. This is where the next piece is in there. Hold on. Hold on a second. Scarlet, is that you? No, you're not Scarlet. And I can taste her scent on you. She wants the last compass piece, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Let's talk, you and me. I don't know why the uh, in the cutscenes it seems like all the characters are very grainy, but as you can see, there's uh, lots and lots of pictures of Scarlet in here. I couldn't never I haven't found all those before, and as you could probably see here, that's Scarlet's face on that doll. That is messed up, man. Even some um, <laughs> underwear. Yeah, he has a, a slight obsession. Just a slight one. There's five of those. I've only found those two, so I, I don't know if I... I don't know where the rest of them are. 
That could be anywhere. So you need those? No. All right. Let's go talk to Herbert. Get the final compass piece from Herbert. Now that you met Herbert, he should be happy to point you toward the final piece of the Captain Blaze compass. Probably. Mm-hmm. How is Scarlet? Is she a... If I help well, you complete the compass, Scarlet will be so happy. Oh, yes. But no, the compass alone won't do. She needs to know how much I care. The tapes. Yes. Get the tapes. Get the tapes. I'll mark them on your echo. Dude, you are one weird dude, man. One weird dude. All right, time to go after his uh, haiku or his poem. And it is cringy as can be. Like he can ever go up there. You end up here, but you have to go all the way back down using the elevator. Back down there with the spider ants are. Walk around and make it on top of this boat. It's a bit of a walk. No point in using the elevator. But you do have to send it down if you want to go back up. Nice. Two for one. My favorite. Did that hurt or something or, or what? Did you get you getting the burn? Yeah, he must be working out. He felt the burn just a little too much. <laughs> a little too much of the burn. Will it kill him? No. We got stuck on something right there. Blowing up spider ants left and right. Darned insects. Gotta get rid of those insects, you know. Just not good for you. Yeah, I couldn't sleep, so when I'm recording this is like at almost 2 a.m. in the morning. It's too hot in my room. So, because it's too hot, I couldn't sleep. And I got that restless leg syndrome. I don't even know what the heck you call it, where your legs feel like they're buzzing or something but it's just very annoying so all that going on I just decided to record my next episode so if I've, I seem a little sluggish in my talking or a little slow in the talking then that's the reason why I do feel tired I just couldn't sleep and I hate that feeling Worried something like this would happen. Just collect his little love letters as quick as you can. Sorry. I don't think there's anything else on the boat. After the boat explodes, it throws the uh, audio recorder somewhere else. Which I do believe it's over. Maybe over there? Yeah, right there. Actually, it shoots them everywhere, actually. I do believe that all of them were on this boat, and they all fly everywhere. This uh, poem is messed up. It is just, like, really cringy. Almost as bad as Scooter's poem in the uh, vanilla game. For Daisy. But worse, I think. Scarlet, I wrote you a haiku. <clears throat> you got a nice butt. You also got a nice chest. Your 
face is okay to no six syllables dice oh it's ruined god damn it haha <laughs> 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 uh -huh. nova shield well, it looks like a new problem man <laughs> Set off by uh, Nova Shield and he just gets whooped. You gotta be careful when they bring up their anchors in front of their face. Your shots will bounce off and uh, hit you. And that's not a good thing. You don't want that. Because you get the full effect of your own damage. Back in your face. And it hurts. Here's the bottle. It's back there. I always find that this bottle is kind of hard to get to because you have to go in this like glitchy spot where you're not really supposed to be there we go pick it up man pick it up ah, can't pick it up told you it's in a really glitchy spot You bounce off these like invisible walls or something there and it like throws you around or makes you hover in this in like in the air so it's hard to jump there we go well, you can do it man pick it up there it is a genie in a bottle. No, wait. It's another message. Find the treasure. Oh, I always do. Oh, I almost got him. We're on the corner, no scope. Didn't quite work. I tried though. Two for one again. Oh man, a curtain. Oh, that's a bad. A bad A. I I was almost said the word. Can't be doing that. I'll get demonetized. Oh wait, I don't make money anyways. <laughs> I don't make nothing on YouTube. Not yet. sometime in the future it's like I'd like to start a patreon but I don't know what to give everybody it's like it's almost a requirement that you have to give something to the people even though I think my video should be okay but you still got to give something else to the people all your fans or whatnot the viewers if they want to join your patreon I just don't have nothing to give I've been thinking on it though if you guys got any ideas, let me know. Oh, dude. Yeah, not worth it. Get that thing off me. I, I, I use sniper. Give that to me, man. I need that ammo. I had a viewer, one of my son's friends, that subscribed to my channel. He wants me to play uh, Delta Rune and the other game, Undertale. There you go. I think my memory's bad when I'm awake. It's worse when I feel really tired. <laughs> but I can still play a game though. I might play those games even though I've never played them before and I think I watched a tiny bit of a let's play like years ago when the game first came out so yeah I have no clue about that game whatsoever but I do like RPGs I just hope I got the time to do an RPG on my channel 
Those games are not short. Even though that is an indie game, I do believe it's shorter than like a Final Fantasy game or whatnot. He was recording her uh, while she uh, slept. Very, very creepy. If somebody did that to me, I would, I would wake up and just bust their butts. Just would not, <laughs> would not handle that. So I like every time you go to different parts of the planet, the moon gets closer and closer. Anybody else notice that? And the and the uh, Hyperion moon base there seems to change shape too, because it's usually it'll be small or be like really huge. Look how big it is in this this scene. It is massive. How does it change shape? In size, I don't understand. It does not make any sense. It is a video game, though, after all, right? Nothing has to make sense. Who wants to to realism? You know, no, not all that realism stuff in your video games. We get enough of that in real life, right? It's too real. Almost to the treasure. Good shot, bruh. Good shot. dinner tonight for some reason I know it's a crazy off topic but the dinner I had was ramen Today, Scarlet caught a crewman stealing from her she's so honorable through my telescope I saw her give him a gun to defend himself as she ran him through with her sword I knew I knew she's the one creepy man you're just weird but yeah I had beef flavored ramen the cheap stuff the 56 cents a pack ramen <laughs> so one heck of a dinner hey sometimes man you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do man's gotta eat you may not have the uh, five course you know meal on your hands you just go after ramen well, I can't remember. I think it's underneath the porch over here. Or a... I can't remember where this is at. Remember a spot you had to crawl through. That's not it. Am I in the wrong spot? Even though the circle's like right there. You know it's around here somewhere. It's not over there. Like this spot you had to crawl under, kind of like a uh, a dock or a porch or something similar to that. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. I think this is it. Oh, crouch, man. Yep, right here. Find the hidden treasure in the rust yards. Treasure? Woo. Turning restaurant's treasure chest. 
And it sounds like I'm that one uh, woman that was in that one um, audio tapes at the beginning about her aunt, her grand grand. They are all dead. They attacked just after daybreak. I promised myself I'd let him kill me, but I, I couldn't let it. I, I fought back. That deck is sticky with their blood. Today, they finally met the fearsome Captain Blade. The fearsome Captain Blade. So I wonder about the Leviathan. Where did the Leviathan come in? You got uh, Captain Blade and his treasure. You got everybody looking for it. But where did the Leviathan come from? What is the story about the Leviathan? Was he just a lonely sandworm that people picked on out in the desert? Not really people, I'd say other worms picked on. They got so angry he kind of hulked out and became huge. That's my story. It'll have to fly, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, I thought I used that up for some more ammo off of the uh, my Theodore SMG. Apparently I didn't. Chest up here. You know it's one of these junky chests. I always get junk out of them. Okay, this is mixtape number 206. I call this one Scarlet. I would like to touch you in places. Oh, Scarlet. Oh, God. Did you find one of his songs? Oh, God, Maria. Still, you found all of his tapes. Better return them to him and wash your hands afterward. Ugh. Yep, I'm using that old hand sanitizer myself. Just can't be done. Just think of it. I got, um, hermit goo. <laughs> hermit goo all over my hands by holding these tapes. Ew. So nasty. Well, anything gonna be over 2500? I saw a bolt symbol there for a second, but nope, just a bolt. Not a bolt a symbol, a bolt symbol. Yay! And the butts are still here. Ant line butt party. <laughs> Ant line butt party. Nasty. And they're all farting a little bit. <laughs> Releasing that gas. So gross. You found the tapes? Once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass, Scarlet will have to take me back. The last compass piece is in that chest. You're weird. How does Scarlet? Um, this guy kind of reminds you, if you've ever seen Family Guy, there's a character in Family Guy called Quagmire. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Quagmire. I can smell her on you. <sighs> ah, must be rusted. Rusty, rusty. Just shoot the lock. Why? Destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Look what you made me do, man. Look at what you made me do. You made me break it. Find Herbert's recordings. Whoops. Yep. Just whoops. Whoops. Looks 
like when you shot the lock, you blasted the final compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Um, no, wait! Uh, I can make a replacement! I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, go, go! Full. We nothing, no money. I don't care about the grenade, just want the muns. Washburn Refinery. This is the the only major area in the game that has robots and a boss in there. Well, there's bosses here and there, but that's like, is a boss robot, not a very good one, called Hurley. No, not from uh, Lost. <laughs> that was a weird show. I don't think I finished it though. I made it to like really very close to the end and kind of stopped. Then they took it off of Netflix, so I didn't get to watch all the rest of it. I tried watching, um, uh, what's the name of that show? Twin Peaks. It's a bit too slow for me. Like, you know, I don't want action all the time, but I want more in the episodes. You know, a lot of the episodes are, like, really slow. A fantastic day for capitalism. Good show, though, I guess. Did I keep it? Yeah, I guess I did. I might actually get to try out the stink pot on the robots. Alright, health returned on kill. Every man for himself. Curse of the suddener death. Returns a portion of your health after each kill. So has a chance of instant killing you. That is a sound very fun. Dropping sentry. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, bro? We'll look at this puppy. Might use it in my thumbnail. Zoom out a little bit. It's gonna be hard to take a picture of this. It's spinning. But yeah, Captain Blaze Auto Idle. It's kind of a neat uh, trick right here. Health returned on kill. You get 6.1% uh, of your health back, but it has a chance of killing you instantly, so. In my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm going to go head back to Warm Water so we can hit, uh, turn in this quest I did in the last episode and head towards uh, Washburn Refinery. That's no, it's not her. I gotta go down to the bounty board. Wow, I can't jump. What is going on? Catch a ride and also tetanus. Mm. Really right, blue shotgun. understate just how unserious I was being about the no fatties thing. I actually prefer overweight men. A pirate's life for me. Slagged Jolly Roger. And catch What's up, right. yo? This here scooter coming at you from Sanctuary. I needs me some old ass scraps from y'all's rust yard to keep the city's engines a turning. If it's sturdy and metallic and can give you lead poisoning just from looking at it, then grab it and ship it my way, alright? I wouldn't want to have a car that he builds out of only rusty parts. It sounds like a really bad idea. They said this place was an ocean. I think I'm gonna still head towards uh, Washburn. Uh, yeah, the uh, next place. All right. So, whoops. Repair the uh, fi uh, final piece of the Captain's Blade compass. Enter Washburn Refinery. 
I'm still going to head for this. And this right here, I think is the Sandhawk, if I remember correctly. Which is really a good gun, but it's going to be level 30, which is going to be sucky. But, eh. Can't really do much about that. This one wants me to, uh, he wants me to go back to the rest yards and collect uh, parts for him. So I might do that in uh, tomorrow's episode after I get this done. Yeah, the Sandhawk is a really good uh, SMG. Especially with the B shield, it's very, very powerful. Even at level 30, I'd rather have one my level, but in the first playthrough, there's not really much of a chance in that, so best time to get the second one is in the, uh, or a better one is in the second and third playthrough, so it's probably best to wait if you want the Sandhawk as high as you possibly can. Any other playthroughs, wait to do these missions until way later. Wait on them as long as you possibly can. And do other missions and other DLC or whatnot. Nice Washburn refineries up there. Well, part of it. But I'm going to go after this red chest. I don't know why I'm going after this chest because it's going to be weak. Probably junk. But hey, I gotta check it out anyways. The call of loot. You know how junky it may be. Might get a legendary, but my luck is like party non-existent so because it's pretty much not non-existent I'll get junk out of it like 99% of the time yep junky junk but I have to check anyways you never know it's kind of satisfying when I'm playing a I'm, all, I'm only level 20 in the game though I haven't really made it that far yet but in the Division 2, I've been playing it again. I stopped playing it for a little while and I started playing it again. It seems that it's a little bit more, the treasure or the loot drops are more satisfying. You get a lot more rare stuff than you do in this game. But I still love Borderlands a lot. Still more than Division 2. Uh, Division 2 kind of reminds me of uh, What's the name of it? Uh, Destiny. To a degree. Haha, uh -huh, got him. You're about to break my shield, bro. What? Hey, get back here. I'm done with you. I said I'm done with you. happens when you pick on me you shoot at me you get exploded just like that dang it invisible wall really hit him man please wow worst throw ever just keep in mind, I am like really tired. <laughs> That's always the excuse. You can't use that excuse. Wow, 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 wow. I think my, my uh, favorite world, uh, like map music. Would have to be the uh, music in um, the BA Crater of BA Etude. It's kind of slow, but it has a nice, nice sound to it.
That's where it is. Up there is that satellite dish. That I was talking about in a couple episodes ago. Man, that's way up there, man. Might have to switch that, uh, a corrosive weapon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the sink pot, put it here, and get this and put it here. There we go. We haven't tried this gun out very well that much, so I'm gonna give it a try. I used to use it a long time ago when I when this DLC was new. Haven't used it ever since. It is low level though. But it does match the level of the enemies. Robot. Come out, robot. There you go. Yeah, I not very powerful. Got him. All it takes is you rip their arm off. May sound violent, but sometimes you have to do what you gotta do. <laughs> Washburn Refinery. I can rebuild the last part of the compass, but I'll need some samples of polycritin. And once you get those, I can rebuild the key and give it to Scarlet, and it'll help her find where the treasure is buried, and she'll marry me, and we'll have a hundred babies, and I'll never die. It'll be perfect. Hundred babies will never die. Man, you gotta. Pretty high aspirations there, bro. Pretty high aspirations. Hello! And he just kind of... He was just sitting there. Shot his arm off. He just sat there. And was like, oh, I died. A, a several seconds later. He didn't know he got killed. We're pretty much at the end of the episode here. story bro so I'm not gonna go too much further in here I might check out that chest that'll be the last thing we do hey man not in front of me like that why do you say splooge it doesn't make any sense not unless he's talking about frozen damage <laughs> he was in midair. I shot that guy in midair. And he was just floating there until he finally fell. Ow. The guy was out, but yet I still get burned. Thanks, man. I think there is several quests here. There is a bottle I do believe no that's a robot that's a robot that wants help with stuff there's a uh, several quests here so we're definitely going to do them all as much as I possibly can it's easier to do all the uh, the side quests in this game or in these DLCs yes just a few more bits of polycriton I've studied the lost treasure of the sands for months now I'll rebuild the compass for her. For her. Alright guys, well, I think I'm gonna end it here. We are very, very close to the end of the end of my time limit here. Yeah, I set myself a time limit so I don't go too far in these videos. If you make them too big or too long, most people won't watch them. Alright guys, well, if you'd like to join the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I would like to see 100 subscribers. Let's see if we can reach that goal. And, um, 
If you like my commentary, uh, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you like the content as well, it doesn't have to just be about commentary. It could be about the, the content of my videos or jokes or anything at all. Hit that like button to show this uh, support, help this channel out. It needs every every little bit of help. And uh, next up, subscribe in uh, yeah, subscribe button. You'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon. Then you become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an awesome day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.